Okay guys, since I'm still in a Metal Gear mood, I decided to do Metal Gear Solid 2 next. This is Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, which is in my opinion one of the best Metal Gear Solid games created. It's also uh, Substance, which is really really hard to find on the PS2. You can find it anywhere on Xbox, but good luck finding it for PS2. Um, I'm going to be doing a brand new game, Tanker and Plant on normal uh... radar 2 the story is fictional any at all the Hudson River two years ago two years ago we had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport yeah metal oh, gear stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long It is raining. Chilling on that Hudson River, just look at him. He was just strolling like like it ain't nothing. No, oh, he's booking. I'm gone. Ooh, he's invisible. T coat's going flying. Oh, he's about to do a swan dive. Check it out. Swan dive. Uh, look, he's like, I'm holy. Oh, he's bungee jumping. Okay. I thought he just straight up dove. Like a G. Dolphin diving. Well, he's like dangling like a booger. Oh, look at that string, booger string. Oh, stealth camel kind of messing up. So we got onto this boat. We gotta infiltrate the shit out of this boat. Oh, doesn't that kind of remind you of like the Terminator when Arnold Schwarzenegger came in all half? Well, he was naked. Never mind, not half naked. Just straight up butt ass naked with all the electricity. I'm from the future, Pomp. It's horrible. <laughs> so, Toyota. Are you serious? That old ass man is a dick. He's not liquid yet, people, so he's actually awesome, bitch. Or ocelot as you know him. Hideo could you know? Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Got that booty call already? Damn, Snake, you popular. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear. Otacon looks like a little girl, doesn't he? I'm at the sneak point. 
Everything going okay? His hair ain't long like in the second. I mean, like in Mel Yourself Four. Oh, all young, no mustache. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Uh, you're not in the military Not wearing anymore. a turtleneck. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. This was actually my bad. first PS2 game. Guaranteed. Happy as like, long as the no Bouncer was my second PS2 yes. game. I got you this. The reason why I bought a PS2 was for this game I the chattering when it came out. Because so I love Metal Gear that, that much. Reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out sooner or later. I would have been like, She's better off assuming it's sooner give her a message from me. Safe. Too Tell true. that bitch she got seven okay, motherfucking Snake, days before she's done. You know how the technical specs seven days. And if she complained, till she got five. All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. No weekends. And now every state, group, and dot com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. Yep. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new metal gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method. We don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now. Philanthropy. An Metal Gear organization I can't even say that officially word. recognized by the UN. Recognized. But still fringe, Otacon. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting too. The effects yep. of the anesthetic round that will tranquilizer be what part be of the body. Work. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment, hey, snake, cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? No. Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. I don't remember how to use that shit. Cause I never did. That's cool using a camera as a binocular, you know, ghetto binoculars. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure. <laughs> They're nice, but you're infiltrating their ship with a trank. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, he's not too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water on the riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on the boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. Yeah. The chopper. What? Oh, shit. Ugh! Ugh! He jugged him! And then slit his throat! Like a... A fruit? No. Don't get him! Oh, oh! you had to stab him in the neck. You couldn't just, like, give him a little slit. You just had to jug him up. Like, look at that. Ugh, he had to shank him, like, four times. Looks like we're not These dudes are dicks. 
and they work for us.